Hello and welcome everyone to a slightly different video than usual. Just recently I was awarded the Medal of Honor on the Firefall forum. Uh, for those who don't know, Firefall is um, a MMO FPS, which is kinda dying, basically dead by now. But Medal of Honor means I've been part of the Firefall community for four years. And I just want to talk about it a bit, like, how did I find Firefall and what got me into Firefall and, and a few of my first experiences. In case you were wondering, the footage that you see in the background is from open beta time and sometimes you may see some starter or like some really weird glitches. This is mostly due to the replay system of Firefall. What you see is not like live recording from back in the days, but it's actually replay files that I like ran through the client again and captured it. But sometimes these files are a bit corrupted or don't contain enough information to like display everything smoothly. So that's why it's not as nice as it possibly could be. The first time I heard about Firefall was after watching a video called Gaming Ain't No Game which basically has nothing to do with Firefall, but at the time Firefall worked together with Stage 5, basically they were the same company, and Stage 5 created various different videos that they tried to get viral, and like at the end you had end cards to Firefall, and sometimes they were Firefall related, sometimes not as much. And just because of one of these videos, I found out about Firefall. There are quite a few people who have quite some negativity against Stage 5 TV, but for me it was really like the thing that led me to Firefall and as such I've never really disliked it and I always saw kind of the value behind what they were doing, creating videos that got people interested into, into their franchise, into Firefall, just through creating viral video if, if it worked out. And for me it was totally that. Uh, like besides making some comedy sketches or music videos, they also had like more ambitious projects uh, like the Continuum videos where they did more cinematic stuff. And I also always enjoyed those ones. Some weren't that much to my liking, but, but some still were. While I was browsing to all the past videos that they've created, I also obviously found some Firefall videos. Some videos just about Firefall, some gameplay, but also like, um, I think at the time we already had Firefall Live videos. And so I got curious, like, what is this game? I've never heard of it. And because I'm a first person shooter, like, I played a lot of first person shooter at the time and still am now. And uh, it really got me interesting to see an MMO based around the shooter because usually. All the MMOs you see are RPGs and they most of the time are based on like some fantasy style which isn't exactly what I like or what I prefer. So an MMO FPS shooter that was based in a sci-fi setting, that got me immediately interested. So I looked it up on the website and saw that just, just in a few days there was a beta weekend. So at the time they were still in closed beta, you couldn't just play it you had to get like a key to get into it. At the time I didn't know that it was basically quite easy to get one of these keys, which I found out later, but it didn't really matter. I got in, I played on the weekend, and I really enjoyed it. I wanted more of it. And at first I thought, ah, oh, maybe let's wait for the next better weekend. But I couldn't wait and I like bought a founder pack and this got me started didn't take that long until I decided, well, actually, I also want a Locust. That was one of the LGVs. That was the only LGV at the time. And so I upgraded just a few weeks later, uh, that when I had been playing quite regularly Firefall. And I don't regret it until today. It's so many hours spent in Firefall and I had met so many great people. And yeah, it's really fun. So one of my first experiences with Firefall was when I started out in Transhub. At the time I think you started and spawned in Transhub whenever you left the game and joined again. So there I was just minding my own business and trying to figure out what is this game about. And then there's a melding tornado and he 
just like in the middle of the city nearly and it's like what the heck is going on i had no idea it was just like all a mess i mean the visuals had always been kind of odd and like the distortion a tornado can make to to like branches and trees and stuff it just looks weird at time and then you have the meldings all around it and it was just confusing for me and i had no idea what's going on so I think this was one of my first experiences, and at the time I was like, is this, is, is this game? It kind of confused me, but uh, afterwards I quite enjoyed it. It was like, you can shoot stuff, but you can also die. So that was the first experience I had of Fire Foam. Later on, I got to meet people, I, I like explored a lot of the map. Uh, a fun fact is, like, in the beginning, you didn't know about the settings that there are and by default the view distance is quite low and this makes it that you feel the world is much bigger and the longer I played I learned oh you can like change the view distance and then suddenly the world gets a lot smaller because you can like see from one end to the other nearly not exactly but nearly so it's like you see a lot more and, and are a lot more aware of what's around you yeah, after a while I got, got into crafting also a bit. At the time we still had that. <laughs> Currently there's no crafting in the game and probably never will be. The Anyways, the uh, the I didn't really understand what to do. <laughs> the user interface was quite primitive and there was no real tutorial. Or maybe there was even, I'm not quite sure, but it was just confusing. So I met someone online uh, I think his username was Bernadette and it was quite fun, we spent lots and lots and lots of hours just thumping. One of the interesting parts was like melt, melt thumping, where you put down a thumper near the melding and you get all the melding mobs. You also needed some to collect special bits uh, for the yeah, melding anomaly neutralizer, uh, which maybe I'll talk about in another video at another time. Anyways, Bernadette taught me quite a bit on, on the crafting system and, and what you can do and after a while I understood more and more what kind of the limitations are or how far you can go with crafting and, and that was quite interesting. Not long after I started playing Firefall, I introduced armies and being part of the commander founders I could like reserve a name for an army and of course I did that and there was like a small army posted with Bernadette and like two or three others. But otherwise like the activity kind of dropped from the other players and we didn't find any other um, people who wanted to join us. And so I decided to leave my own army behind and join Drar. And at the time Drar was like extremely well known due to its resource monitor on their website so you could look up which which resources were currently like the ones available and which could you search for and thumb. So RAR was growing quite a bit and, and I mostly picked it because I wanted the army that had an impact on the game and we were just a group that was always active and, and we actually did something and contributed to the community which was really what I was looking for. And yeah, until today I'm still in RAR. Actually, I took over RAR quite a bit later on, but <laughs> the game is pretty much dead and also our army is as well. It was still quite a fun experience. One thing that probably had like even a bigger impact than RAR itself was fans. The Firefall Army Neutral Zone. And it basically was just mostly a website with another forum, but also a TeamSpeak server and I got to know a lot of people there and some of them I'm still in contact today and sometimes we play but not really that much but yeah that's basically where I hung out a lot and even today when I play a lot of Overwatch I still sometimes meet people here and there which brings back a lot of good memories and shout out to everybody who has been part of fans and still remembers it. Yeah that was my first experience with Firefall and just how I got into it Thanks for watching my video. If you like this kind of content, let me know. I'll try to do more. If you like something else, also let me know. Um, I really like to do what people want to watch and I hope this was enjoyable. Thanks and till another time.